Hello and welcome to the Gold Lactation Online Conference for 2014. I'm Fiona Lang-Sharp, IBCLC and Public Relations Coordinator for Gold Conferences. Welcome everybody. I'm sitting down with Diane Cassidy today and we're going to be talking about epidural anesthesia and its impact on breastfeeding initiation and duration. Welcome Diane. It's lovely to have you here today. It's great to be here. Thank you, Fiona. Well, I'm very excited about you talking about epidural and breastfeeding because I know for most of us who work in the community that it's, it has a huge impact on our mothers. And so I've, I've got a few questions for you I'd like to ask um, about this particular presentation. So if you have a few minutes, we'll uh, dive into these questions here. Yes, yeah, that'd be great. Love to. Yeah, so can you tell me, when do you think a mother should be informed about epidural and breastfeeding risk? I think a mother should be informed as she is going through her prenatal care. I think she should know in advance, um, pretty well in advance, too, as she's preparing to educate herself about childbirth, as she's learning more and more about her pregnancy. Um, I think she should know how epidurals and a medicated delivery might impact her breastfeeding so that she can make a good informed decision for herself. Yeah, it seems to be reasonable to think that a mother, you know, should have this information prenatally so she can make an informed decision, um, even if she's choosing, you know, um, like we had talked before, um, even if she's choosing to have that epidural, correct? Correct. That way yeah. she knows if she's struggling with the feeds, she knows this is why and I can get help for it. I can get the support I need instead of just assuming well, the baby's not going to feed, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in the towel. Exactly. So do you think in your opinion that our mothers are being provided accurate information about epidurals and breastfeeding? I do not and that was one of the biggest reasons why I did this, um, why I did the research on this. Um, I, I really think that a lot of, there's a lot of misinformation out there regarding epidurals and breastfeeding and I think it's been very controversial whether or not epidurals actually impact breastfeeding and we're learning more and more that it, they really do. Um, and I think that that information is what is not getting to the mothers. Well, I have to agree with you and I'm, I'm excited that we're opening up this topic um, because I think it's a conversation that we need to continue. We need to keep striving, I think, towards this. But can you address um, this question, please? What role does really does a lactation consultant have when it comes to discussing epidurals with mothers? I believe that ethically, we are. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Ethically, I think it is our responsibility to make sure that women, pregnant women, and mothers know that epidurals can impact their breastfeeding relationship. I think that we know, as lactation consultants, we know that to be true. We've seen it. We've seen the results of it. We've seen how babies behave after medicated delivery. And I think that we owe it ethically to these mothers to give them this information so that they can make an informed decision. Um, they, I, I always tell my moms prenatally, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you not to have a medicated delivery. but I do think that they should know what the what the risks are, just like any other medic medical medical thing that you would do in your life, any other medical procedure that you would have. You want to know the risks and the benefits and how it's going to affect you and how it's going to affect your family. And then childbirth is no different. You should know all the risks that are out there and all the information that you need to know. Well, I have to agree with you wholeheartedly, Diane. Um, it would be a brighter day if we could reach every mother, you know, um, and again, yeah. not being biased, you know, not being biased about whether they choose it or not, but I always use the line, you know, isn't it better to have that baseline knowledge? Um, and I feel that the mothers that I can reach, and you know, there are, there, there's a few of them prenatally, um, but if we do reach them prenatally, um, we can give them that information, so if they do choose it, it seems to me that there are better outcomes because they understand what is happening at that moment. Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. 
Yeah, great. that's great. Well, I know that we're in for a treat um, in listening to you and your, with your full presentation um, titled Epidural Anesthesia and its Impact on Breastfeeding Initiation and Duration. Um, and I know that you will get uh, a wide audience on this topic for sure. I'm looking forward to hearing more. So thank you again for spending this time with me today. Um, we have run out of time, but again, I hope that you've enjoyed listening and um, to Diane talk about this uh, topic with me. And for you listening out there, thank you again for listening.